Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So I thought today we'd have a little bit of a play around with the retail system. I actually can't remember the last time I played with the, the actual Sims 4 retail system. I've ran many different types of shops in The Sims 4, but usually I use mods like the live-in business one. And there's a couple more that I've used as well that I can't remember off the top of my head. But no, today we are actually using The Sims 4 retail system. And we're going to be running a bakery. So my Sim here, her name's Maddie. She saved up quite a lot of money, mainly because she lives with her parents. Her parents have let her kind of mooch around and continue living at home so that she can pursue her dreams of running a successful bakery. And today's the day, Maddie. Today is the day we buy a bakery. So, buy a retail store. It's a very pretty bakery as well, and I can say that because I didn't build it. It's one I got from the gallery. So yeah, we're just gonna have a bit of a chilled out video today, you know? Just, just seeing what it's like running a bakery in The Sims 4. It's called the Sweet Dreams Bakery. And it's all ours, Maddie. Oh, here we are. Okay, uh, we should probably, well, 2,500 2, seems a bit low. Maybe like 10,000, 10,000 into the business. Okay, so this is my bakery. It's got a cute little van out front. This is the inside. So I think this might be like the storage room where we do the, the baking and the cooking and shit. Maddie has no skills in cooking or baking. I kind of figured a bit of trial and error. But luckily the creator of this lot has already fully stocked my shelves with beautiful wedding cakes and a drone for some reason. <laughs> so this must be, okay, this is the creating space. Right, this is where we do the cooking. This is where we do, is it the shitting? Oh no, this is like a separate space for the indoor bakery. So we have this section here where customers can come in and they can sit inside and enjoy their baked goods. And then, okay, this is where the shitting takes place. This is the bathroom. And then we have, so really we need two servers, don't we? One out the front and one inside. Oh shit, I've only just noticed this whole top floor that I completely ignored when I downloaded this from, okay, so we actually might need quite a few members of staff because we also have an upstairs seating area with a counter right there. Well, I think first things first, instead of trolling the forums, uh, Maddie is actually a sim I, I already had, and she's got the high maintenance trait. She's a bit of a bitch, to be honest. But let's see if we can get some employees going. I mean, this sim, she's got a bit of retail experience. Oh, although Destiny, she's one of mine, and she's highly skilled. Right, we're going to go for Destiny. She's fabulous. Can I only have one employee, though? Only one employee for um, for our entire bakery. Oh, okay, right, open the store. Let's see how she gets on. I don't know how she's planning on... This This in itself is going to be a bit of an experiment, is how are customers going to um, want to be served. I guess there's no cash register here, so people aren't going to come to the front desk. They're probably going to come... Or they're just going to get stuck. They're probably going to come inside, although she's at the front desk. She's a loiterer. I don't know where my employ oh my employees over there. I have some baked goods in my fridge there for people to try out. Um, okay, I got a few people checking some stuff out. They're generally just checking my um, my general inventory though. Got some people thinking about buying some of these ice creams that are in there. Have I made a sing no single sales yet, which makes me think perhaps I'm doing something wrong. I mean, guys, please take a look in our back room. Check out some of these wedding cakes, huh? Pretty impressive. Doesn't need to be a wedding cake, could be for a baby, Jasminda. Pretty sure you had some twins recently. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna lock this PC for everyone but Maddie. Greek customer, right, we need to start getting you working, Maddie. Jasminda is showing some interest in our products. Greet the customer, get off your chair. Lazy. Get off your chair and try and sell something. Come on, we gotta try and get at least one sale today. This would be a pitiful display if on our first day we don't sell a single item. Just window shopping. Oh, well, we'll see if we can change that. Just window shopping to proper shopping. Okay, retail, answer questions. It looks like we've got off on the wrong foot, which is a shame. Discuss shopping preferences. There we go. I mean, I don't know that Jasmine does particularly... No, she, she does not like being given a sales pitch. There is a bathroom, Jasmander, if you want to go use that. What choice, what value, I'm ready to buy when you get a chance to ring me up. Oh, yes. We have a sale, we have a sale. Ring up the customer, do it now. I don't know what my fucking employee is doing. 
She's playing Tekken. Lock computer for everyone but Maddie. Fucking hell, Destiny. I took a gamble hiring you. Oh, I think this customer's also ready to be rung up. Destiny, please do your job. Come on, Destiny. Oh, you know what, Destiny? Fucking lazy sack of shit. Get on the floor and sell to customers. You're here. You're, you're employed to do a job, Destiny. Please. Just as I was saying this was going to be a chill down. And now she's put the fucking TV on. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to delete every electronic in this building. Because Destiny can't be trusted. You know what, Destiny? I'll do the sales. You restock the shelves, okay? You're going to need to work harder if you want to earn money, okay? And judging by that bodged up tit job, I think you probably do need some money. So get to work. I am watching that girl like a hawk. What's she doing now? Where are you going now? Oh, I sold a candy jar for 500 simoleons. What are you doing, Destiny? Chit chat. Oh, she's talking to Carla. Of course, of course. <sighs> I'm here working my tits off. Okay, we've got another sale at least. Angela Pleasant. I feel like I'm doing all the hard work by myself. I'm gonna, you know, actually, I think maybe I should have assigned her a job to do. I'm gonna pause this so I don't lose any more time that I've already wasted on this bitch. Assign work task, restock sold items, all right? I'm gonna be the one dealing with all the sales. You restock the shelves, all right? Now where is, okay, there's Angela. I will come and ring up this customer. Luckily, it looks like there's not much like babysitting in terms of convincing customers to buy things. They seem to be choosing to buy things themselves. Oh, there I am, just giving Destiny her orders. Yeah, I'm not having to convince many people to buy my shit. They're just looking at things they like. This sim right here. I'm seeing so many familiar faces. Anyone remember her? She's the uh, pregnant teen. I think she ended up being quite a good mum, actually. Oh, I think Jasminda is considering buying something. Oh no, we're running out of time with Angela. She's getting impatient. Hurry up. We were supposed to ring her up ages ago. Hurry up and ring her up before she... Oh, she's going to storm out. She's going to say she's had enough. I'm not going to get five stars from her. Yeah, she's walking away. We've lost her business. Oh, I can't even blame that on Destiny. That was more That was more Maddie, really. Okay, okay, we're making so oh, did you did you throw your own trash can on the floor? This is your establishment. You're the one messing it up. Okay, so far, I think we're losing money. Oh no, okay, yeah, we've we've made 180 simoleons. Benali's having a look at a couple of things. That's good. Do I have any more customers? Couple people thinking about it, thinking about it. They're all kind of standing in a cluster there. I'm not sure how anyone's gonna get past, but you guys do you. I guess it's not my business. But yeah, it actually kind of looks like we might even turn a profit on our first day, which kind of seems strange. Salem doesn't seem to be thinking too much about buying. I'm going to try a few interactions on him. Because so far, I've had a lot of customers buy, but I haven't actually put the work in. So, um, answer questions. I'm going to see if I can maybe convince him to buy something, although it looks like the progress bar has actually gone down. Yeah, he doesn't like it. I'm starting to think that when you get the pop-up saying just window shopping, it maybe means that they don't want to be bothered by you. What about Carla? She's pretty uh, irresponsible with her money. Why don't I ask her if she wants to buy anything? If I can get through this crowd. Oh, I think Carla's just window shopping as well. You know what? I'm just going to have a quick meal. Because she's getting a bit hungry. I'm just going to get something quickly. I don't think it's a good idea to use my, um, my retail interactions. They don't seem to be working too great on these people. I think it's either because they're just window shopping or because Madam here is in a pissy mood. Actually, you know what? Can I just... I'm tempted to just remove these mood buffs, but because it's one of those high maintenance ones, I kind of feel like it'll only be like a few minutes before she gets pissed off again and realizes that the sun still exists and then she remembers that she has an irrational hatred for the sun. Okay, okay, my interactions seem to be going a little bit better now that she's not in such a pissy mood. How long? We've been open for seven hours, so I'm probably going to close up shop within the next... I don't know, I think eight hours is a good amount of time to be open, isn't it? I just, I have so many customers here though, and I don't want to lose these potential sales. Although if this game is as predictable as I think it is, I'm pretty sure I will have these exact same customers turn up tomorrow. What's wrong, Maddie? You need to take a shit, put your place away, and then go into the, the bathroom. Here we go. 
right where the washing machines are. And hopefully by the time we get back, we'll have someone say that they're ready to buy something. Because it's been, it's been a while now since I've last had a sale. Well, we've been open for eight hours. <gasps> oh, just as I got another sale. Is that Judith Ward? Where is she? Judith? Judith, where are you, Jude? Here she is. She hasn't even stepped into the shop yet and she's already decided she's going to buy something. Right, ring up customer. I can't have another bad customer experience. I probably have a bad review because of Angela Pleasant. Maddie, come on. Maddie, get your shit together. Let's go. We've got the paparazzi here in my store. Documenting Judith buying something in my store. Why are you so sad there, Destiny? Because you worked too hard today? Yeah? Yeah, you're going to wish you had a different attitude when appraisal season comes around. Let me tell you that for free. Okay, uh, we'll ring up Judith and then we'll go ahead and close. I don't think anyone else is buying. I don't see any more trolley carts above people's heads. Judith has just completed... Oh, we've got another buyer. One of the kids is buying. Where is he? Where is the little tyke? Is it that kid there? You chose a little cake? Yeah, okay, fine. We will ring up the child. Maddie, ring him up. Come on. This sim, man. And another customer. Okay, I, like, really need to give my staff, like, some time off in a minute. I have so many customers wanting to be rung up. Do it now, Maddie. Try and get it done as quickly as possible, okay? Salim's the last one. If anyone else pops up now saying, what choice? I'm ready to buy. I'm just gonna ignore them. Yeah, like, pink hair. Pink hair's gonna have to wait. Okay, close up shop. Yeah, we made a nice profit. We made a healthy profit. 462 simoleons. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad that I only have one employee because if half of the employees are as fucking useless as the one I have, then I would have been paying a lot of money for nothing. I'm guessing I can't still ring up this customer. No, I'm going to have to send her away. But while I'm here, you know what? I'll do a bit of restocking tonight so that it saves my employee a bit of time. Oh no, a lot of, some of these dishes are starting to go bad. Yeah, a lot of these baked goods. Oh no, that is not going to end up being a positive customer experience, is it? Right, let's just take a look. We've got a few, a few like mouldy baked goods here. So I will clean up all of those. Maybe we'll just try and predominantly be like a, a wedding cake shop. Because I don't know if I have what it takes to preserve all these. These seem to be holding up well because they're in they're in storage do we have any moldy produce out front no okay great well then we'll just clean up some of these old plates and then we'll go home get a few hours of sleep and then we'll come back and see how tomorrow goes running the bakery i feel like the first day running a retail business when it's been a while since you did that you know, it's mainly just about getting to grips with things. Come on then, Maddie, let's go home. Getting to grips with things. I feel like tomorrow's going to be an even more productive day. We made over 400 simoleons profit today, so let's see how we get on tomorrow. I'm aiming for over 500. Okay, bit hungry, bit tired. Grab yourself a sandwich. Do not beat up the teddy bear. And then go and sleep. You can have the master bedroom. Parents don't deserve it anyway. It's only us, really, that's bringing home the bacon. Right, what's a good time for a bakery to open? Like eight, eight or nine maybe? Let's go for, let's see, if we, let's go for eight. 8 a.m. open time. I think that's a good time for a bakery to open. Oh, you're in a bad mood again. Worst day ever. I fucking hate the high maintenance trait. I wish I never assigned it to you. You were just meant to be a side character. Right, I think you're well rested enough. Take a shower, take a shit, take an angry shit. And let's go back to the bakery. Actually, isn't there a way I can fast travel? Travel to venue, there we go, just do that. Saves a little bit of time, saves a few seconds, doesn't it? Okay. Oh, loads of people are already here, even though we haven't opened up yet. Well, okay, I guess we'll just open early. Let's open at seven. Do not go to kick over that trash can again, Maddie. Okay, we're open. Where is my one useless employee? Where has she gone? Has she given herself a break or? I don't see her anywhere. I think maybe she's decided it's time for a break. I actually don't know where the fuck she has gone. Maybe she's just given herself the day off. Okay, well, I'm just going to have to wait and see whenever she turns up. Maybe she just went to go get her nails done, or oh, I don't know what the fuck she's up to. I mean, I would have expected a courtesy call, at least, if she wasn't going to come in today. Oh, there she is. She's chatting. Destiny, you're late. So currently, she's answering customer questions. Okay. That's fine, we don't really need you restocking right now anyway. We don't have any sales, so I guess that's fine. 
Maybe, maybe, Maddie, you could make yourself useful by coming and greeting these customers, perhaps. But we'll learn our lesson. We won't be too forward. We'll just be, you know, softly, softly. Running a business is a great way to introduce my sim to, like, everyone in the, in the area. Come and welcome these two customers. They might want to buy something. Oh, hold on. I have a customer here ready to pay. Where did he go? Okay, I'm pretty sure I have two customers ready to be rung up. Okay, we'll ring up this customer, and then we'll ring up Morgan as well. Two customers, and it only took three hours of being open. Oh, actually, I've got two more customers now who are waiting to be rung up. Okay, this is getting a little bit overwhelming now because so many customers are wanting to be rung up, but I'm sure I'll get round to every one of them. Worst case scenario, I can always reassign Destiny to ring customers up. Okay, you know what? I'm getting some customers that are actually being pretty impatient now. I think I'm going to have to go and ask Destiny to go ring up customers as well. Assign work task, ring up customers. Come on, Destiny, we need to be a team. Especially if we want to turn over a profit right now. Come on, let's go. Okay, Destiny is apparently ringing up customers, although she hasn't got up from her chair. Ugh, none of my sims are doing what I'm asking them to do, and now I'm going to lose all this business. That's three customers in a row who have just got huffy because I didn't serve them quick enough. I hope Destiny is ringing people up. No, she's still sat in the same fucking spot I left her in. She is useless. I'm gonna fire her. I'm just gonna run this place by myself because she's about as useful as a chocolate teapot. And right now she's costing me money. Okay, I haven't had a pop-up yet to say anyone else has said what choice, what value. So, um, go and criticize Destiny because she hasn't got up her chair. She hasn't got off her chair since I asked her to ring up customers and we've lost three paying customers thanks to her laziness. Pull your fucking finger out, Destiny. You're on a final warning. One more missed opportunity like that and you are fired. As it stands, we're currently on top of all of our sales. We've already lost a few, but we don't have any outstanding. So hopefully if Destiny just stays there, then she'll be on hand to serve customers when they're ready to make their decision. In fact, you know what? Seeing as we don't have any, I'm going to tell her to restock sold items because I'm not really getting a good representative of how much money we've really made because we need some stuff that needs to be restocked. So Destiny, make yourself useful. I'll ring up the customers. I almost feel like this would be a lot easier to manage if I didn't have to have my sim ask her. I wish I could just click on her and just reassign her job, like, you know, as God, and she would just do it. Okay, we have a customer ready to buy. Let's go ring her up. Okay, three customers in a row. Let's see how we get on. Come on, Maddie. We can get all three of these customers served within a reasonable time, all right? We've done it before. We can do it again. And I think this guy also is ready to buy, but he's going to come to me, which is very handy. Okay, okay. This is manageable. We can do this. Okay, well, maybe it's not manageable because Maddie is just standing there even though she has tasks queued up. This retail system is so broken. I think we're going to lose Vanessa Jock. We're definitely going to lose this guy as a customer because we're just, we keep pausing. Even though the job has been complete, we're just standing there. No, she's left. Okay, that's another, another two customers lost. Has this customer also given up? I think she's like trying to get served. Let's go ring up this customer. Come on, Maddie. Why are you sitting down when you have the customer in the back that you have to ring up? This is just an impossible task because even when you get them to do something on time they just don't do it and now my sim is pissed off hey boss you've kept me working into overtime on this shift i need to head home in compliance with the fair labor sim act okay well she's just bought a cupcake i have this sim over here i'm gonna try and ring him up and then close up shop mainly because i am pretty sure i've not turned the profit that i was hoping to turn okay ring up customer get some money and then we'll close this place our assistant's just gone what are you doing, Maddie? Come and ring up the customer. Well, you rang up the customer, but we didn't get any money for it. So I guess that's um, another glitch, perhaps? Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, I'm going to close the shop. Oh, we actually did make a really good profit today. I thought that we wouldn't have, but actually, no, we did. I was looking at sales profit. I thought that that was how much we made before the restocking costs were taken. But actually, we made pretty good money today. You know what, though? I think I've taken about as much as I can of Maddie's bad attitude, our lazy employee, and this very broken game. So uh, I'm going to end this video here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.